Hi, I'm Brian Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today I'm just going to have a quick look at our Severus 2 kit of temperature humidity loggers. Now each one of these little loggers is a temperature humidity logger. They're Wi-Fi based. The kit includes a Wi-Fi hotspot. It's already been pre-configured. It's all ready to run. It takes the data from these instruments and puts it up to a website. One of the primary uses is to monitor slabs. Um, it's whereby you'll draw up, these are consumable that you need to purchase with it. Uh, you cut these holes out, you insert this probe into the, this, and then we're monitoring humidity in the slab. Now we can set up little alarms in the software, etc., so that data from these particular devices will be sent up to the web and you know, you know you can actually just get an email when the humidity drops sufficiently you're able to rebuild on the slab etc. This is a uh, Wi-Fi wi hotspot we just simply need to get power onto it. Once it's powered these devices will show a little cloud symbol so I'll just power it up. Okay um, plugged in the sensor I've hit this button and you wait about uh, a minute or so having powered up the Wi-Fi hotspot Firstly, you'll see this flash. It goes solid, which means it's connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot. Then this cloud symbol will flash and then become solid, which means it's now connected to the cloud. We need to browse to this particular website and log in using the supplied username and the supplied password. So I'm going to log in. Now I've got one logger on the desk here. It's had, I've set off a few alarms and its um, serial number is 8541. So I'm going to go to an analysis for start. Just do data analysis and there's 8541 I select that and you won't have anything here initially of course because once the uh, when the devices you're setting up for the first time now I'm just going to clear this alarm here because I'd set one off earlier so I'm going to mark all as red now under the alarms tab here I'm going to set alarm go to alarm settings so we're going to add a new alarm and we I'll call it test and pick the particular devices I wish to set the alarm to. So I'm going to 8541 and I'm going to set when the temperature is above, well, let's say 25 degrees. We want the alarm to go off and I scroll down here. Now I need to add a recipient. Now I'm going to use my um, own email address uh, and there it is there. So I need to add a recipient and that's where the results are going to go if the temperature exceeds 25 degrees C on this particular device. We can add as many devices as we wish. We can use RH. You, you might set a lower limit if you're looking at slabs, for example. So now we simply save that setting. Right, it's been saved and I come back to my data analysis. Now what I'm going to do is now increase the temperature. Now the, the logger only makes a measurement every 15 minutes so I'm going to hit the uh, refresh button on the front of the logger and look at that and you'll see the um, the, the little Wi-Fi thing will flash and then the cloud thing will flash and then it's uploading the latest reading. So if we go in the last hour you'll see that this will be the the most recent value from it. Um, and uh, hang on, we'll just click on. Oh, sorry, I haven't picked a particular logger. There it is, there. And um, yeah, so this is the, we're getting silly readings. This is 23 degrees currently. So I put it in a nice hot spot. I'm sitting on it now. It's gone above the alarm point. Now, it's I hit I've hit the refresh key, so the value will be updated. Now I'm going to click on the last hour. Here's our, which one is our temperature? One of these, either one of these is our temperature. Uh, there's a humidity, here's our temperature, temperature there. Um, now it's showing alarm condition on the particular, the logger, and it's brought this up here. So we've now got an alarm condition marked that's gone into overshoot. You can see that, you can see the alarm conditions on the logger. And as well as that, if we come over to here, Here's our alarm where we've got an email that has been now sent to us um, indicating that there's been a, that something that that temperature has um, gone too high. 
It's pretty simple to set up. I can cl now clear these alarm conditions, of course. Uh, mark all as unread, etc. But it's really pretty simple now. If we have a look at our data and we have a look at the table, the Testo Severus 2. It's a very simple system available for rent from Tech Rentals. Thank you very much.